Hey, did you have a good weekend? Which one? The five day one or the one two days later? <laughs> We laughed because we were blessed to laugh. Luckily, no one was hurt. We want to thank our school board for making this tough call last week. It's never easy to decide to cancel school. Actually, our girlfriend Irma could have been so much worse. And it was even after she decided to fizzle and go west. She killed at least 55 as of last Tuesday and left over a million and a half in Georgia without power. The point is, when the call had to be made Sunday on whether or not there would be school, we were still expecting worse than it was, and we appreciate our school system for putting our safety first. And the extra sleep wasn't bad. Let's get to the announcements. We just wanted to remind you that this Saturday we will be having another Saturday school at the same time, 8.30 to 12. So, thanks to Irma, queen of the hurricanes, we had to reschedule pictures. Wait, pictures? I was already dressed. Yep, sorry. They've been rescheduled to next Monday morning, the 25th. They had to reschedule everybody. Well, you know what else we need to get dressed up and get pretty for? The game. That's right, we're going to the game in Dallas this Friday to play against Paulding High. The game starts at 7.30. I need to see you there supporting our wolves. Well, the One Book Mini Voices contest is over, so let's send good vibes to our contest entries as they head to Nine Bark Press to be read. Good vibes. That's really it for today. If you have an announcement to share, let us know. Goodbye. Hey, it's What's About Town with Destiny and Maria. If you'd like to go to an open mic poetry event, Southern Mugs in downtown Cartersville is having a poetry night this Thursday at 6.30. Okay, they are right downtown, so easy to find. Just note that the coffee shop is in the back of the building. Okay, I'm really excited about this event. Did you know that plans for a dog park have been in works for a while? And they're actually going to test out the idea this Sunday. This is called a pop-up dog park, and it's from 1 to 4 p.m. I have a big dog. Can I Can I just come? <laughs> Little dogs play on the hour mark. Big dogs play on the half hour mark. So you could go at 1.30, 2.30, or 3.30. Where will it be at? Riverside Park. I've got another fun thing. Did you know that the Oak Hill Mansion at Barry was a Carmichael plantation on the Sweet Home, Alabama. Are you serious? Yeah, and this Saturday from 10 to 4, you can come tour the house at the Barry Museum for just $5. $5? Who knows what other movie props you might see. I would love to see the inside of that house. After the tour, you can actually catch the movie because that's the movie they are playing at Ridge Ferry Park. As always, the event is free and from 5.30 to 10. How cool would it be to tour the house in the movie and then go see the movie, not having to spend but $5? Let us know if you go to any of these. Are you interested in joining the Air Force? Here's a fun fact. On this day in history, in 1947, the Air Force becomes a separate branch from the United States Armed Forces. Before then, aviation was split between the Army, Navy, and Marines. According to the New York Times, September 19th, 1982 is the day the first emoticon was used. And moms and dads who think we're being lazy when we do this, just you know, the first emoticon was used by a professor from Carnegie Mellon University. He made a smiley face using a colon, hyphen, and parentheses. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that tomorrow is International Talk Like a Pirate Day? Here's what's interesting. Pirates never talk like we pretend they do. Pirate dialect is actually traced as recent as the 1950s and 60s when British actor Robert Newton portrayed Long John Silver in Disney's 1950 film Treasure Island in Blackbeard in 1952. It's completely made up. Yo ho ho and a bottle of Coke. Go Arc. to Cream. Go to Krispy Kreme. Or Long John Silver's Talking Like a Pirate, and you'll get something for free. All right. Did you know that today is National Rice Krispie Treat Day? A Rice Krispie Treat is one of the easiest and cheapest snacks you could make. Is it? Yeah. Is it? All you need to do is melt three tablespoons of butter in a saucepan. Add on a package of marshmallows. You know, size really doesn't matter, but get all the marshmallows, the big ones, which you'll stir together. You could also do this in the microwave. And then over six cups of Rice Krispies. You can mix it together using a spoon, but let's be honest, that gets difficult sometimes, so just use your hands. Yeah. And then you want to press the sticky blob into a pan you've either pre-greased or sprayed ahead of time. 
You just let it rest. And then once it's cool, you're good to go. Now, that's the ordinary Rice Krispie treat. But when it comes to something this simple, we give props to those who get creative. And why not get creative with the PLC RPM crew? Oh, check out our top Pinterest picks for Rice Krispies that get a whole lot more creative. As you can see, people will mix just about anything into their Rice Krispies mix. So, that gave us an idea. In honor of Thursday being International World Peace Day, we thought, what if we started random snacks from around the world to see? Will it Rice Krispie Treat? We made these ahead of time because the concept is simple. Stir it in with Krispies. We have seven different countries. Let's see if any of these are Pinterest worthy. Number one. Let's do an easy one. Pop Rocks from the United States. We actually found pumpkin spice Pop Rocks. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh, Pop it. This is tingling in my <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what's that? <laughs> that's like right there. It's good though. American Pop Rocks. Millie Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah. Let's head east to Russia. We have chokeberries from Russia. These chokeberries came frozen, so we defrosted them, which let the juice mix in when we stirred them in. Russia? I don't know what you call that, but that's not okay. It's hard. It's very tart. Hit me at once. It tastes like oh. who done it and why? It, it tastes like tar. Russian chokeberries. Will it rice crispy treat? No! <laughs> Let's stay in Eastern Europe while we're here. Let's try Bulgarian sour cherries. These came in a jar, so they should be like pie filling, we think. Oh. oh. I don't like how foggy it is. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, but it's too sour. It's way too soggy. <laughs> the berries taste pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes? It's just too soggy. Yeah, I don't like mushy stuff in my mouth. Okay, so it's, it's not bad. Really soggy. It's not just at all. really, really soggy. And I don't like my cereal soggy. It's sweet, though. It's very sweet. Bulgarian sour cherries. Will it rice crispy treat? No! Now we want to visit our neighbors down south with candy eggs from Mexico. Supposedly, there's some kind of chocolate inside. It's more like black licorice. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm scared to eat it now. I hate yeah, no. black licorice. My body doesn't know if it's good or not. It's alright. At least I can swallow it. It's a weird type of chocolate taste. It's pretty good. Like, it's not a regular chocolate. Yeah, it's really good. Mexican egg. Will it rise crispy Judy? No! So. Of course, since we are down south here anyway, we want to try the caramel corn snack from El Salvador. Logically, it should go together. They're both sweet and crispy. That's not bad. Mm, really good. That's really good. good. I think it's your rice crispy. Come on, let's say it. El Salvadorian caramel corn. Will it rice crispy treat? No. Yeah. Let's take a huge detour and go to Asia. Asian snacks can get really strange, so let's see. First, we'll start off with wasabi peas from Malaysia. People in the States like to put wasabi peas on their salad oftentimes, or just eat them straight up. Anyone here even like wasabi? Wasabi peas are made of dehydrated peas and wasabi seasoning. We thought this would be a sweet and savory kind of thing. I mean, I eat the wasabi peas, but I'm not gonna eat it in the Rice Krispies. 
It tastes like that spicy honey mustard. No, you're an awful person, Mrs. Lee. Malaysian wasabi peas. Will it rise crispy treat? No! Does anyone here like spicy? Sweet and spicy? Last but not least, we have a spicy dried squid snack from Taiwan. You know this culture loves dried marine snacks. Even if we think we wouldn't like it, we can't say we've tried it in a Rice Krispie treat. So let's try. Two, one. Uh oh, trash can! Trash can! It's dried spicy squid. <laughs> oh, oh. That's squid. The squid ain't bad, I ain't gonna lie, but dang, I'll eat squid. It's dry. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that bad. It's not bad. Taiwanese dried spicy squid. Will it rice crispy treat? 